Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be heading off to at home and I'm gonna do a little shop with me with you all and point out some of those pieces that will really help to elevate your space and give it more of a high-end feel. And at home is the best because they really do have some really affordable pieces that have a designer feel to them. So I'm gonna point out what those are. I definitely don't think everything looks elevated, but there are certain pieces that really can make your space feel professionally styled. So we're gonna go through the store together and then we'll come back Back home and I'll show you everything that I found for my own space and how I'm planning to style it in a little haul. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and without further ado, let's go to at home. Okay, these are my favorite patio chairs. They went out of stock last year pretty quickly. They're only $60 and we actually have these in our backyard. I use them in our pea gravel patio. Last year they only had this color in the black and then this year they brought in this kind of dark brown chocolate color, which I think is really pretty too. We put cushions on ours. I bought mine at Home Goods, but they've held up really well and I think that they look a lot more expensive than they are. Like this looks like Pottery Barn to me and they're only $60 a chair so this little chair set is really cute too it has that woven material and it's $2.99 for both of the chairs and this table so this could be good if you have like a small space oh my gosh this is so cute I would actually use this as a waste basket it's $35 but I love that scallop detail that's just so sweet just because like when you use things like this for something that would be ugly like a garbage can it helps things look more aesthetic oh my gosh you guys look at this olive tree this is only a hundred bucks which i feel like is a really good deal and then the pot has this cute little rustic scallop detail on there it's like slightly distressed i think that is so pretty like look at the leaves they look very lifelike i don't know this is a really good deal i feel like this is one of my favorite pieces of faux greenery that i've ever seen here like they have this olive tree here but this just looks really fake i don't know if you can tell like the leaves on this one they have that olive tone to them it's such a pretty one especially with the pot combined like oh my gosh this is so cute i might need to get this i have too many olive trees in my house already though i also love this garden hat it's only 10 bucks and i feel like when you pick things that are cute like this and then you hang them up on a hook like in a mud room or something it really helps to add to the aesthetic and make it cuter too so nine bucks is really good for a garden hat Okay, so if you don't have a green thumb, but you want something to put in a planter that looks very lifelike, I love this. I don't know what this is. I'm sure some of you know exactly the name of this, but I think that the greenery on here just looks very real. And here, let me go see if I can find a planter to pop this in to show you what this would look like. Okay, so here's a cute little rustic planter. You just pop that in there. And look, that is so cute. That'd be so adorable out on a patio or just on a console table or you know even on a floor you could get like a larger one to have it more of an accent piece look sweet on just a kitchen island or a shelf so that's really sweet if you just don't want to deal with real plants but you want something that looks realistic okay i really like this succulent bowl i don't like this one specifically because the tone of the green is just too fake it's very neon it feels like but it's $40 and I like the concept of these. When we were in Italy, I saw a bunch of succulent bowls all over the place and they just have that really beautiful, rustic, effortlessly styled feel. So this would be pretty somewhere like on an outdoor coffee table. I think that's something easy to just dress it up a little bit, but still keeping it simple. I just like the concept of this. I wouldn't purchase this one, especially because it's $40. I do like the rustic bowl that it comes in, but this color is just way too fake. Like I like mine to be a little bit more muted and gray because that's how they naturally look in real life okay i love this candelabra this is only 30 bucks and you could get two of these and put them on a dining table and that would just instantly make it feel so elegant for like a dinner party or something the tone of the brass on here is really pretty too it looks truly vintage which i like i actually have two of them which is very tempting I don't know i don't need any but they're so pretty okay so you guys know i've talked a lot about those handled olive jars on my channel and they're super cute but they can be very hard to find so this could be a good alternative to that it's handcrafted in mexico and kind of has that rustic feel well not kind of has it definitely has that rustic feel but these are 
only $20. So that's a really good price. I would say though, if you come here, you definitely want to pick one that looks to be a little bit more organic. Like this one looks naturally old and aged. Whereas like this one right here looks like someone just DIY'd it. So they're all different, which is cool because they are handmade, but I would just definitely come here in person to pick yours out because they all have a different look and finish on them. These also have that rustic feel too. I don't know how I like the gray and I don't know. I like the coloring on the other ones because it's a bit warmer but this can be good if you're looking for that handled olive jar kind of look oh my gosh this dish is so cute five dollars that's not bad this would be cute to hold jewelry or something on a nightstand I love the pattern of it, just so timeless. Okay, if you need a planter for your outdoor space, there are so many here and there's so many different sizes and styles. So I would definitely come here, especially if you need something like on a larger scale like this. They have so much to choose from. It goes on and on and on. These are some of my favorites. I feel like they have a very European feel and the little flower detail is so cute, but it's not over the top or tacky. This guy's $14.99 for this size, but they have a bunch of different sizes so you can mix and match. I like them because they have that rustic finish with the glaze, but they still have a little bit of pattern and interest on them too. They're also very heavy, so they're not that fakey material. They're definitely Definitely a hard ceramic which I like so this big one is 30 bucks and then the medium size is $20 so you could get a set of three for under a hundred which is really good especially since they're that good quality they're super thick and they're really beautiful this woven planner is also really cute this reminds me of something you find at anthropology it's only $24 and it has a drainage hole. That's super cute. They also have this smaller one to go with it. This one's $14. So for the set, that would be actually not too bad of a price. That's really cute. I also love these total anthropology vibes. I love, it's almost like a little scallop detail. This is $19.99 for this size. This is the medium. They also have it in this smaller size too. This could be cute in like a windowsill. Not a price on that one. <laughs> and then the bigger size is $29.99. So you could even have a set of three. They also have some outdoor planters. This one is my favorite. It's 180 bucks, but it has that rustic feel to it. It's definitely more of a plastic type material, but it looks really heavy and old and just like it's been sitting out aging in a garden for years. And then this is what the top looks like. So you have kind of like that bubbler mechanism. So this would be pretty to add in a corner of a patio for a pretty sound with a little bit of a rustic feel to it. Just kind of give it that European feel, which I really like. These are the other ones that they have. I'm not a big fan of the birds up here. I know some of you will probably like that. They also have this one, but they don't have it out on display, but this is a little bit more modern if you like something like that. We actually put a fountain out on our patio a couple years ago and it was really pretty, but it did get a lot of frogs. Like it attracted frogs. So they made their home in there and it was really cute, but I would always find them under our cushions and stuff. So I would like go sit down on our patio furniture and I'd have frogs popping out of it. So just be prepared if you live somewhere that has frogs. Okay, these little condiment trays are so cute. This is $20. It's really sweet for the summertime or if you entertain a lot. They also have this one that'd be nice for like chips and dip that's really cute this mirrored bar cart is kind of cute it's 170 i'm sure there's a lot more expensive ones that look very similar kind of reminds me of anthropology or something be cute in a little corner of a living room if you don't have a ton of counter space in your kitchen and you want to have just a little bar area this is super cute Okay, so we're back home and it is now time for the haul portion of the video. And the first thing that I picked up, I am obsessed with this. I haven't even seen anything like this before, so I had to get it. It is this really beautiful framed lavender artwork. Now, this guy was only $12.99. I honestly saw this and I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna DIY something like that. I'll get a really cute arched frame and then I'll find some dried florals. But then when I started adding up the price of everything in my head, plus the time it would take me to do it, I'm like, this is honestly probably gonna even be cheaper. So it might be fun if you have some florals in your backyard that you can dry yourself, or if you already have dried florals and then you go thrift a frame or something like that, you could definitely get the price lower. But I really love the look of this one specifically. I love the lavender in here and the arched frame. The lavender really gives off that Mediterranean European feel, which I just love in my space. But I think where I'm gonna use this is just on a little shelf that we have in our hallway. And I'm gonna pop it next to our olive jar 
jar filled with olive stems so that way it'll really solidify that Mediterranean theme that I love and this is just a great alternative to artwork you know I love my landscapes I have them all over my home but it's nice to have things in frames that kind of switch things up you could even mix this into a gallery wall just to kind of break things up or if you have a gallery wall with frames that you already have you can maybe pop some dried florals in a couple of the frames I think that would be really pretty this is just a very inspirational piece to me and I feel like I might do a DIY or do something similar in other spaces of my home just because this really does help to bring the outside in and really helps to showcase it in your decor so it gives off that natural organic feel which I love and again I just love that this is lavender to give off that European feel in my space okay so this next piece I was very excited about because the greenery at at home can be hit or miss and as you guys know I have a ton of stems so I really like that this was something a little bit different so I found these really cute little succulent picks and these were $4.99 each, which I felt like was a good price considering the size. They're very heavy and they're super realistic. I love how they have kind of that faded blue green jade color almost and there were two different ones when I was there so you kind of have to look there were the ones that were more green and then there were some that had purple on the edges so they had a little bit more brownish purple in them and I really gravitated towards these I thought that these looked very neutral I felt like these looked a little bit more natural and they kind of mix into the color scheme that I have going on in my space a little bit better so I ended up buying three total it was 50 dollars and what I actually thought to use these for is just simple bowl filler so I've kind of struggled with finding natural looking bowl filler that's not boring something other than potpourri so I like to find things that are unique but still kind of feel natural and like they're bringing nature inside so I thought that these would be perfect because they have a great amount of texture on them but they're still really subtle so it's just a nice punch of visual interest and texture that relates back to the outside okay so the next piece that I picked up was this really Really beautiful woven vase now this guy was $24.99 and it was on sale for 50% off so it was like 12 bucks which is such a steal they did have two sizes they had a larger size that one was like $40 and I believe it was on sale for like $22 or something so you could buy them in a set for under $40 which would be really good I think this is a really pretty styling piece and it would look gorgeous by itself you all know that when springtime comes around I like to incorporate more wovens into my space this is definitely definitely a year-round piece like you wouldn't just use this in the spring and summer but I do feel like it really just fits in during this time of the year especially when you pop some pretty florals in here it just gives off that warm fresh spring-like feel which I love and obviously this is a woven vase so you wouldn't be able to put flowers with water in here or anything but you could easily just pop a little jar in here with some water if you wanted to do real florals you all know I'm a big fan of faux florals especially when you source the correct ones that look real then they're low maintenance you just set them and forget them that's what I'm all about so this is gonna look really pretty on our countertop or a little table just to add that touch of warmth I love the shape of it I did go for the smaller one just because I felt like that was a little bit more versatile you could put it on somewhere like a nightstand or a bathroom countertop or use it as an accent vase to a larger vase so such an affordable yet aesthetic vase for the springtime all right, so even though I have way too many of these, you know it wouldn't be a spring decor haul if I didn't include some sort of stem. And honestly, these are probably the most affordable stem that I have ever purchased. And they are these really beautiful, I actually don't even know what these are, but they're like a white floral stem and they were $2.99 each. And I ended up buying three of them. So it was $9 to get this full of a floral bunch. And these are perfect because it's such an affordable way to fill those small little accent vases all throughout your home, just to switch up the look of your space for spring and make it feel fresh and new so I personally liked that they were white so they can go into any room that I have and I can constantly switch it up and they just add that fresh touch of blooming florals but it's not too distracting or pigmented and it still gives off a very calm and natural feel I feel like these look like wildflowers which I love they do shed however so that is something to be aware of if you're putting them in a high traffic area somewhere like a coffee table where you're always playing games that's somewhere where I might not 
not put these just because they do shed. So as long as you don't brush up against them, they're fine, but just be aware of that. Okay, so this next piece is definitely my favorite out of the entire haul. I was so excited when I found this and it is this super beautiful kind of rustic clay pot. Now, this guy was $29.99, which I felt like was such a good deal for how large and thick it is. Large terracotta pots tend to be very expensive and I loved the simple lines on this and how it kind of had that rustic finish to it already. Unfortunately, this is not available online. Everything else from this video, I will link below in the description box, but this one is not available online. I think you would probably just have to go to your at home to see if they had something. I'm actually gonna plant this up in my next video, which will be a garden with me. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, but I'll show you a little example of how you could style this with some faux succulents with the ones I just bought and then like an air plant. So you can kind of get an idea and a visual of how this would look. But I just thought that this was such a steal for $30. I am a big fan of terracotta. I think again, that it really helps to give your space just that Mediterranean rustic feel and they only get more beautiful as they age. So I love that as they bake out in the sun, they kind of get a pretty patina on them. And I actually showed you last year how I gave a faux antique finish to one of my terracotta pots that I actually bought at, at home. So all of the pots that are in my backyard right now are from at home and I bought them last year and they've held up really well. But I am really excited to now have a bowl terracotta pot because I have a lot of just regular planters that are like a normal tall size. It's nice to have something a little bit lower so I can use this as a centerpiece and whether I'm planting herbs in it or succulents, it's nice to be able to switch things out and kind of make them seasonal. So it's a fun piece that's also versatile at the same time. Okay, so this next piece is kind of a designer dupe and it is this really cute little black easel. And this guy was only $4.99, which is such a great deal because it reminds me a lot of the one that they sell on McGee & Co. The small is $26 and the large is $36. So the fact that you could get this for a teeny tiny fraction of the price and it basically serves the same purpose is such a great deal. But I actually do have the small McGee & Co. one, which is why I bought this because I'm constantly using that one and I love using it in my styling and I always find myself wishing that I had bought two. So when I saw this for $5, I was like, okay, this is perfect. And I'm just gonna use this to display our artwork. And it's nice to just move this all over the house. I like to use it in my shelf styling, on console tables. It's just a great piece for $5. And I love that it's a fraction of the price of the McGee & Co one. All right, everyone, that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed this little shop with me and haul. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really does help to support my channel. And definitely leave me a comment below letting me know what you think of the shop with me style because this is like one of the first times that I've done a shop with me where I'm kind of talking as I'm going through the store. I know I did that in my antique shop with me and a lot of you commented that you liked it. So I'm curious to hear your feedback. Definitely make sure you're subscribed because I am gonna be doing some more fun gardening videos because the garden is looking so beautiful this year and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So be sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you don't miss that. And I just wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you in my next one. Bye.